And everybody should know that's how love goes. It's good for the soul. Oh, I got a long way to go, but it won't stop the pain. No, no. That's the kind of thing that keeps me coming. Yes, all right. Nothing's perfect. You know how it is, the politics, the asses you have to kiss. At least I have a job I like. You and your father still getting along? Yep. Once I stopped judging him and accepted him for who he was instead of who I wanted him to be, things sort of found a place. Sounds like you've been reading too many self-help books. <laughs> that obvious, huh? <laughs> well, life's good, man. I haven't felt like this in a long time. What? I mean, we've been walking down this damn beach for an hour. It's hotter than a motherfucker. I don't like the sand. And all I hear you talking is peaches and cream, which lets me know how messed up you really are. Whatever, man. You know things always have to be that way with you? Because they are. All right, so you like your job. You and your father can talk now without pissing each other off, but that ain't what's eating at you. Ah, it's all over your face. <laughs> yeah, see, I know how it is. That adrenaline starts rushing, you get them butterflies in your stomach. Let me tell you something. Until you apologize to that girl, you're not going to be right. I'm the last person in the world she's going to want to see. She's over me, all right? I'm over her. Oh, yeah, right. We're not talking about your love life. We're talking about the program. You are an alcoholic, Dan. Look, I know that. Well, act like you know it and stop wasting time. Hey, what you got? Oh, this is beautiful. Look. This is nice. You got all the sand in there. Give me another one, all right? Okay. Thank you. Good job. I mean, you dropped the boy on his head. Put him back in the system. Now you got your father trying to help you get custody. You got DUIs up the yin-yang. Daddy fixes them for you. You leave your fiancé at the altar, then you send your mother to get the ring. I mean, you're something else, man. The problem is, your family can't help you with this one. I'm not looking for anybody to help me. What are you talking okay, about? Okay, okay. Look, I, as your sponsor, I guess I'm supposed to say the obvious shit. You still love her. And you're putting all the pieces of your life with her back together. I mean, why do you think you begged your daddy to risk his career making sure his drunk son could have that little boy over there? Mandel, let's go. Come on. Bring me that shell. Let's get something to eat, quick. Look at those colors. Anything to drink? Uh, sparkling water is fine, but I'd love a twist of lemon. Uh, vodka, grapefruit juice on the rocks, please. I'll be right back with your drink. Terry, if you don't mind, I'd kind of like to get business out of the way before we eat. It's good for my digestion. <laughs> no problem. Burke Willis has just acquired Leader and Jones in Atlanta. Really? Hmm. As you know, they're one of, if not the most powerful law firm in city. Yes, they're major corporate players. Their client list includes some of the richest Arab oil companies in the world. And I've even heard they're going to be very heavily involved if they're rebuilding the corporate structure in Iraq. Yes. 
and that's why we're making our move now. Ah. Uh, Catherine and I would like you to consider putting your name on the new office door in Atlanta. Well, uh, that is something to consider, Mr. Willis. Your poker face is very impressive. <laughs> I'm very pleased that you and Miss Burke have such confidence in my abilities. Well, we do. Of course, you know the way Catherine works, so this would be a sooner rather than yeah. a later situation. Okay, well, then you'll have my answer by Monday morning. Well, that's perfect. Of course, you'd have to relocate to Atlanta and be in the office behind the desk uh, and working within three weeks. Yeah. I understand. Good. Yeah. Look, now, why don't we just think about this? Before you do anything you regret, let's just stop and think. There's nothing to think about. You're not taking that car. Look, sir, you really want to go out like this? Now, what about your family? What family? My Betty's passed on. The only time I hear from my son is a half-assed card at Christmas. <clears throat> hey, man. Uh, look, why don't we just go into the house, relax, you know, get some coffee, kick up a feed, man, and you know what? Uh, we'll call the bank. Bank's already taken my house. And unfortunately, you have entered my life at a time when I'm not willing to take any more shit from people. So, please, son, I'm asking you, just lower my car. <clears throat> you know, I can't do that, Mr. Uh, Bradford. Son, I'm really hoping that cooler heads will prevail. But this gun here in my hand is beginning to speak to me, and you would not like what it is saying. You didn't look, did you? No, but babe, come on, where are we? Okay. What is this? I smell paint. Now. Look, it's, it's got three bedrooms, two bathrooms, a big backyard. We could put a swing back there for Jay, and, and the living room and the dining room are just as big as Jay. Wait, whoa, whoa. This is the surprise? Yes. Baby, this is not, like, jewelry or some flowers. This is a house. No, and this house is a perfect opportunity for us to do our own thing. Wait, Ben, this is all going too fast for me. We have a lot of things we need to work out before we start talking about buying a house. Bert, I know we have a lot of stuff to work out, but it doesn't mean that we have to stop living before we do. Okay, I... Look, I, I appreciate all the time that I spent at your family's house, and I know how emotionally attached you are to it, but I want a house of our own. How are we supposed to afford this house, Lem? You just opened up a place. Yeah, and I scraped together a down payment by using old contacts for J&H to get me a good deal for the store. And I saved the grip by doing most of the work myself. Come on, baby, just think about it. And, and, and between you and me, we could cover the mortgage payments easy. Well, it is nice. All right, I'll think about it. That's what I'm talking about. Mm. Now, come on, I'll show you the rest of the house. You gotta see this kitchen. That was my dream car. Betty didn't want me to buy it at first. She said I just run it up some tree. <laughs> said a black man down south driving a car like that wouldn't do nothing but get lynched. But for me, it was about freedom. The man's got to carve himself some space for freedom before he dies. Something that makes you feel like all the hard work in life is worthwhile. We came here to Chicago, and after a while she understood. We dropped the top, ride, talk, listen to music, and ourselves a ball. Don't you worry about it, but this uh, car is going to sit right there until you get everything straightened out with the bank, Mr. Brown, all right? I appreciate that. Right. Hey, look, your cash here. There you go. Thank you. Ah. Well, the Lord's going to bless. 
dress used for this. Oh, man. Oh, uh -huh. My Betty's up there lobbying for your blessing right now. She don't take no for an answer. <laughs> take it easy. All right, take your life. This right now. Mr. Chadway? Mr. Perry? Thought I made myself clear. You did. I'd like to introduce you to my father. Let's uh, cut with the formalities, JD. My name's Frank. Kenny Chadway. I want to compliment you on your negotiating techniques. But the truth is, I need your business. I ain't that funny because you know what? I need my business too. <laughs> Now look, for the last time, it's not for sale. Right? Mr. Chadway, you're gonna wanna hear what I have Please, to say. Please, I don't think I need to hear what you have to say. Look, now I don't know how many different ways I have to say this for you guys to get it, but I am not selling... Mr. Chadway, me and my son have different ways of doing business. Unfortunately, all that money I spent on business schools didn't teach him any common sense. I prefer the direct approach. That's your asking price, plus 200 grand. Uh, for our... <laughs> oh, well, what about my guys? Every qualified man will have a job. But I'm gonna need an answer before I get back in my truck. Well, you know, I'm, I'm gonna have to talk to my lawyer about this, you see. This is a one-time offer. If we have a deal, we'll need you to hand over the keys as soon as the paperwork is signed. We'll give you a minute to talk to your lawyer. Let's go. Hey, baby, look, uh, I don't have that much time, so let me get to the point. Listen, Kenny, can you bring Maxine, home... just listen. The Alliance guys just came by here, and, uh... Baby, they just met my asking price plus two hundred thousand dollars. What? Get this. Baby, it's all in cash. Cash? Yes. So I'm I'm really thinking about selling. Kenny, take the damn money. Right. Take the damn money. Okay, okay, all right. Kenny? Hello? 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 You were right about Terry. When I think about all those stupid things I said and did. Where are you? Airport. You been drinking? Of course not. I had to ask. I made such a big deal out of it, too. In front of a family and everything. Of the ring. She was so afraid I was going to do exactly what I did. Run away. Why are you so quiet now, huh? I need your help here, Jules. I'm trying to make that step. My fucking legs are asleep. Come on, man. How do I go to her and say I'm sorry? Huh? You know what I put her through. I can't just walk up to the door and say, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I fuck slow you. down. Slow down. Stop being sorry for yourself. Now, you're a smart guy. You just open your mouth and the words will come. Whether she accepts your apology or not, after it's all said and done, the shit you're going to go through is the shit that's going to help you heal. Sounds like you've been reading too many of those self-help books. Is that obvious? I'll talk to you later. Different since the whole Malik thing. But I see he's trying. 
But, you know, it's just a struggle for both of us. Well, baby steps, sis. Baby steps. Yesterday, he took me to see a house he wants to buy us. What for? You guys already live in Mom and Daddy's house. Yeah, but he wants us to have our own house. Oh. And the funny part is, I really want to be happy. I mean, what woman wouldn't be happy that her man is buying her a house? True, true. Yes, well, it's good to see that, um, he's trying to work things out. But y'all ain't going nowhere. And I want to try just as hard. But it's like we have this cloud hanging over us. You know, of all the secrets and the lies and the pain from everything we've been through. Plus, I'm not trying to leave Mama's house. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I wish you could have seen his face. He was so happy, I couldn't say no. Mm -hmm. I just told him I would think about it. Hey, honey. Think about what? Oh, then wants to buy a bird a house. What? Dear. Well, you know what? As much as I hate to think about you leaving Mama's house, Lemon has really been impressed with me with this tour, and on. No house. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, can we just talk about this later? Because I need to know what's so important that you couldn't discuss it on the phone. Yes. Well, I have some news that I want to share, and I wanted to see your faces, so I know if I'm making the right decision. Well, okay. Enough with the mystery stuff. Spill it. I have an opportunity not only to run the Atlanta branch of Burke Willis, but to also have my name carved in granite as full partner. Burke, Willis, and Joe. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. And I'm seriously considering it. But it means I have to leave in three weeks. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You, you did say Atlanta, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, is this a short term? Or is it permanent? No. Hello. It's permanent. They're going to put her name in stone. <laughs> Well, what about your house, Terry? I can sell my house. Maxine, are you going to be happy for me or are you going to keep asking me questions? No, I am happy. I am happy. It's just three weeks is not enough time to make such a big decision, is it? I mean, moving to Atlanta? Hey, well, yeah, I think it's a great opportunity. And there's nothing here stopping her. Lord knows she can't find a decent man in Chicago. <laughs> Might as well give Atlanta a try. <laughs> well, what about us? Oh, Maxine. Sweetie, I'm going to Atlanta. It's just a hop, skip, and a jump away, okay? I'm going to miss you, too, but we'll see each other all the time. You know, and, and more than a good job, it's also an opportunity for me to start fresh. I need that. Yeah, you do. And I need you to be happy for me. I am. Thank you. <laughs> First, Kenny sells the business, Lynn wants to buy you a house, and now you're moving to Atlanta. And it rains, it pours. <laughs> That's being taken care of as we speak. You'll find that everything else is satisfactory. We haven't had any other problems. Do you mind if I come back next week and make yeah. sure? I, 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 don't, I don't see why. Could you excuse me, please? Hey, babe. Everything all right? Everything's great. I just came by to see how you're doing. I'll be doing much better once the city inspector leaves. He hasn't missed a beat. Well, I certainly won't be long. Hmm. What's this? You look great. Groove theory tickets. Mm -hmm. You need to be home by 6 so we can get there on time. Thank you. Well, I'll be there. Mm -hmm. It's a nice surprise, Bert. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, look, I spoke to Penny today, and she said that Who's we Penny? have to... The real estate agent. Uh, maybe I don't want to talk about the house right now. Okay. Baby, read. Mm. Okay. Right. I have mm. an inspector mm. over in the other side. Can I see you later? Mm. I'll see you later. Six o'clock. Okay. okay. Bye. Don't and you did that on purpose. Yes, I did. Yeah. Success. Blood, sweat, and tears equals a whole lot of moolah. Well, all right for the moolah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh, baby. Huh? All right. Check this out. 
Now, I wanted one of those babies for a long time, and that was mine. Kenny, are you crazy? Well, what do you mean? You are not getting a motorcycle, especially one that costs $20,000. Whoa, 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 wait a minute, baby. See, uh, this is not just a motorcycle. Now, this is a Harley Davidson, okay? Second of all, my name is Kenny Chadway, not Ahmad. I'm a grown-ass man. How are you going to tell me I can't have my dream bike? See, now you really sounding like a mod, talking about your bike. Baby, come on. Now you know what I'm talking about. Kenny, that thing is too dangerous for a man with three kids and one on the way. Baby, life is dangerous. A man has got to carve out a piece of freedom for himself in his life. I mean, before he dies. Freedom? What in the hell are you talking about, Kenny? You haven't even decided what you're going to do for work, and you're already buying midlife crisis toys. Baby, I already told you that I was going to open up a classic car restoration business. When? Oh, please. Sweetie, we need to put some of this money aside for the kids. And besides that, I was thinking of starting a counseling center. <laughs> but what's so funny? Baby, do you know how much money it takes to open up a business? I mean, we don't have enough money to start two businesses. See, what you fail to remember is that I'm an equal partner in this relationship. And so if you're going to make a decision that's going to affect the whole family, you need to confer with me. That's what I'm doing. Conferring. Kenny, what do you know about the car restoration business? Well, the same thing I knew about touring cars when I wanted to open up Chadway. That I wanted to do it. So I did the research and I built it from the ground up. And that is the same thing that I'm going to do with Chadway Classic Cars. Kenny, it's not the same thing. First of all, you need to know all oh, baby, about... Baby, can we just go ahead and enjoy this meal in peace, please? Thank you. It says because, because Venus is in retrograde, you will be a sight for sore eyes. But because of the new moon, you should tread lightly and choose your words carefully before you speak. Hmm. You sure that's today's paper? Yeah. So what does yours say? says, by embracing your past, you will be led to a more fulfilling future. Find out your enemy's intentions before you dismiss them. You may find that they are your friend. Let's hope so. Let's. Wow. You look good. You look good. Yeah, you look. It's like you. Thanks. You do too. I just, uh, could I use your bathroom? It's a long flight. Oh, yeah, sure, no problem. The door's open. Damon. Yeah. I know you like peeing in plants. <coughs> so, would you mind using the toilet instead? Because I just bought some new ones. Yeah, sure.
know, I've been sitting here and uh, I haven't really said any of the things that I came here to say. It's okay. No. I'm a little nervous myself. <sighs> yeah, well, uh... Okay. I'm an alcoholic. That was, and, and that is, the core of my problems. Now, for a long time, I've been trying to hide it and I deny it, but that's what I am. I'm so happy for you, Damon. <clears throat> I am so happy that you can finally admit that to yourself. <laughs> Sometimes. Yeah. You know, when I was with you, uh, I felt like a bull in a china store, breaking people's lives, pretending to be oblivious, you know, just Christine and Tobias Mendel. And worst of all, you. The person I loved most in this world, the person that would have done anything, anything, to help me. I just, I don't know I'm being selfish for even being here. And I, I don't expect anything from you. I just wanted to come here and and look you in the eye and say I'm sorry. Okay? I'm sorry for my immaturity, for causing you pain and embarrassment and putting you in a position to have to be the bigger person. problems that make them their own. You know, that's who I am. I took all the hurt and pain that you and other men had and let it loose on myself. It was eating me alive. Fear eats the soul, Damon. I refuse to be afraid of anything again. Not of you or anyone else. I will not repeat the mistakes of my past. And I've found that in these past few months, it's okay to forgive myself for what I've been through. I was just looking for someone to love me. Thank you for the 
surprised that uh, he was dumb. Yeah, he was. Uh, he I had him. a great time. <laughs> Man, you don't even know me. No, don't be touching on me. You don't know me like that. Hey, hold on. What's up? I'll be right back. So just because no one wants your sorry ass don't mean that you have to call uh, me out of my name. You want to know before me shut up here, yeah? Wait, wait, hold on. Now, you all right now? Yeah, Yo, this not nothing for doing it enough. Got a bomber class to take yourself. Or some Clark Kent or some shit. No, but I am her friend. So why don't you just chill? We all had a good time. We just cool, man. Yo, move on yourself with this talk. See? Before we knock out the flood class. Look, man, I ain't in the mood for all this rah-rah shit. Come on, man. We're starting to work today. But you better think about who you put your hands on the next time. Now, shut the fuck up. But like I said, I ain't in the mood for all this rah-rah shit. So won't you get the fuck out of here, all right? All right. Baby, are you OK? Yeah, I'm fine. Huh? Oh, God. Thanks. I, I really appreciate your help. No, it's all good. Hey, Bird. Yeah, hey, Nyla. Come on. Look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry your night had to end like this. Yeah, me too. I don't understand why you can't keep your nose out of everybody's Burr, business. Burr, please don't start. Don't start what? What if you would have pulled out a gun? Baby, he didn't. He didn't this time. Are you so in love with her that you can't get a straight limb? Oh, I don't get, I don't understand. Now I'm true. Okay, look, I, I, I'm sorry that you're upset, but I would like to think that somebody would do the same thing for you if that... Lem? Oh. Lem? Baby, what? 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 What side? Well, let me see. What side? What happened? You call 911. Excuse me. Oh, God. I'm so stupid. I can't believe I just did that. I can't believe you did it either. Especially after all that poetic shit you were talking last night. Look, I don't need this from you right now. Before he could even get the word sorry out of his damn mouth, your panties were wet. Mm -hmm. Hey, you've been in here for a while. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Actually, Damon, no, I'm not fine. Sure. I want you to leave. You know, neither one of us expected this to happen. But I'm glad it did. <laughs> and we still have a lot of things to talk about. It's Why don't... No. It's not about the sex. So then, what is it about? You left me. That's what this is about. And I'm trying to be really mature about it and adult. But right now, I'm kind of losing it. If you don't mind. Look, I'm sorry. Just, just don't say that. Again. Please, just don't say anything. Just leave. Tracy Van Adams. Has the doctor seen him yet? I don't know, but as soon as we're done here, I'll go check. Can you check for me now? Because uh, nobody has come out and told me anything about what's going on. Please. I'll be right back. Then we have to finish the paperwork. No, fine. Just take a seat over here. Thank you. Talk to your sister. She's on her way. Thank you. You need anything else? No, Nyla, thank you. I appreciate everything that you're trying to do, but I gotta be honest, I don't want you here. Okay? Bird, like... Whatever I... you think you have or had with him is over. All right? That's my husband. He loves me, and I love him, and we're gonna work it out. Listen... I just want you to know that I'm just trying to help. I understand that. I appreciate it. Thank you. Good night.
Hello. Terry, it's Damon. Hi, Damon. Could you please turn your cell phone off, ma'am? They're not allowed in the hospital. Sure. Sorry. Uh, now's not a good time, Damon. Okay, but I have something important I want to talk to you about. Um, well, I can't right now. Besides, I'm in the hospital helping Bird deal with Lamb, and I, I, I don't really want to talk. What happened? Everything okay? Well, the doctor's here. I know. I know you've been waiting a while. I apologize. Uh, Mr. Van Adams had an appendix rupture, oh so God. we performed emergency surgery to remove it. Well, is he okay? He's fine. We're going to keep him here overnight for observation, and but we should be able to release him tomorrow evening, and he can heal at home. Can I go see him? Uh, I can give you five minutes. Okay. Bert, I think you should what? stay with me tonight. Yeah, yeah, Terry's right. You've been through a lot tonight, and you shouldn't be home alone. Jake can stay with us. Okay. All right, I'll be right back. All right, I'll be right Thank here. You. Hey, no problem. Hi, baby. Hey. How are you feeling? Do you know what out of me? You know that? I know I was. I was pretty scared too, but... Will it hurt if I hug you? One line, Terry. Are you sure? Because sometimes the second one comes in late. It's negative. Are you okay? Well, to be honest with you, I was hoping I was pregnant. You know, seeing Lim lying on the ground like that, not knowing for hours whether or not he was going to be okay really brought my life into focus fast. Now, I wasn't thinking about all the drama that we've been through. I just kept thinking, I don't want to be in this life without him. You know, he's made his mistakes, but I've made mine too. He's a good husband and a good father. Yeah. And if all he wants to do is buy me a house and have a baby, then... then that's what I'm gonna give him. Well... Well, you did you get dressed, so you can tell him that. the surgery in great shape, but we discovered a perforation in his bowel caused by the appendicitis. He contracted an infection called peritonitis. We're treating him with a variety of antibiotics, so he should be fine. Well, he said that last night, and now, now he's in ICU? I know it must be hard to see him like this, but trust me, Mrs. Uh, Van Adams. Doctor, we need you next door. Best case scenario is we keep him here a few days, let the antibiotics do their work. Worst case is we go back in and clean out the bacteria. Either way, he'll be up and around in no time. Talk to your dad for a minute. Oh, boy. In private. Uh, why don't you run upstairs for a quick second and uh, I'll give you a ride later. All right. All right. My man. 
Baby! So no matter how I feel about it, you just gonna do whatever you want with the money, huh? <laughs> Baby, why are you so upset about me buying this bike? Now, I have worked long and hard all of my life, and I can finally afford something that I really want. Hey, well, why are you still giving me grief about it? Kenny, the problem is you think the money is yours, not ours. Uh, no, I don't. Now, look, the money is ours. I'm just a primary breadwinner, that's oh, all. Oh, now you really tripping. No, so I should be able to say how the money should be spent, period. Kenny, I'm taking care of your kids. That's right. I'm making you another one. Thank you. I'm running this house. I've supported you all these years. Not to mention, it was my marketing ideas that made your company more whoa, lucrative. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now, Maxine, you've been giving me your little marketing ideas for a hot minute now. Oh, my little marketing ideas. Baby, now I know you want this, you know, counseling center and everything, but I just didn't figure it into my financial plans. That's all. Well, you better get it into your financial plans. Why, well, I gotta be all that. Right. Because it is. Oh, baby, come here. She was back there checking on them. Oh, there uh, she is. Hey, sweetheart. Hi, hold this. I'll be right back, okay? okay. Sorry, I thought I made myself clear. I hadn't heard anything, so I thought I'd come by and see how he's doing. You're not supposed to hear anything. You're not his family. And you're not his wife, so you can go home. Well, I know I'm not his wife, but I am a friend, Bird. A friend. And I'm just concerned. It seems to me like you're trying to be much more than a friend, Nyla. I saw the way your mascara was running down your face last night. What's that supposed to mean? It means you had a lot more on your mind than just help. Shit, you cried worse than I did. <laughs> you have some serious issues. Oh, no, no, no. I have one issue. You. Okay? You know what, woman to woman, I think you might feel like you and Lem maybe have some unfinished business, but you don't. Now, I told you before, and I'm only going to tell you one more time. It's over. It's time for you to go, and don't come back. You okay. ladies want to keep woman it down, to woman, please? I think you know you ain't been taking care of business the way you should. What'd you say? So I think you should take a good look at yourself before you start blaming me for your insecurities. The thing I'm about to blame you for is being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Hey, 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 ladies, I asked you to keep it down. Don't worry, I'm leaving. Good, it's about fucking time. Hey, hey, all right, the both of you, go home, come back tomorrow That's after you've calmed hey, down. Hey, Have something calm to say. Down. Or maybe we should just go home for I'm a few hours. I'm not going anywhere. Maybe just a little while. Hey, look, why don't you guys just all go ahead, leave. I'll call you if something comes up, okay? She's all right. Get... Oh, please. No, no, no. Please, no, no. Please, no, no. Please, no. I got it. She's wrong, though. Oh, my God, Sean. Sean, it's so great. It's it's like you never left. It's like we're right back to where we were. Oh, my John, God. Hey, I'm engaged. Where have you been? I thought you said you were going to the store. I did. Scoot over. You going to still sleep? Yeah. Oh, I like this. Yeah. <laughs> that poor girl, Joan, don't seem like she's ever going to find a good man. Yeah. Speaking of men, guess who showed up on my doorstep yesterday? Who? Damon. Oh, my God. Yeah. Are you all right? Yeah. What did he want? To apologize. Are you sure you're all right? Yeah. I'm fine, Maxine. Okay, well, then give it up and don't leave nothing out. Um, he lives in California now. Okay. What else? Hold on to your seat. I'm holding. It didn't take but a few hours before we were having sex. Oh, shh. Well, you have been generous with the Punani lately, girl. I'm not telling you nothing else. I'm just saying. Must have been one hell of an apology. <laughs> Are you getting back together? No. It was just... No. I don't know what it was. It just happened. Well, it must have been good. Why do you say that? Because usually you're as quiet as a church mouse about sex. And Damon got you in here testifying. <laughs> well, let's 
Just go wake up, Bert. You sure you okay? Okay. How did he explain the mama thing and her showing up at your house asking for a ring back? I'm looking for the radiology department. I'm gonna go check on Lem. Okay. Hey, Kenny. Hey, where's Maxine? Uh, she's coming. Uh, hey, uh, look, Terry. I gotta tell you something, and I don't All want right. you to get up. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? Oh, well, you get to have your dream bike, but I can't have my dream fur. Scoot over. My God, Terry, you need to talk to your sister. I'm not getting into it, man, but you better work out your issues before she has a heat stroke. Where's Bert? Here you go. Hey, your coffee. She oh, to... hey, thanks, brother. Anytime. Hey, Terry. Maxine, how are you? That's a nice fur. Thank you. This is just a little treat I picked up for myself. For all my years of hard labor. <laughs> That's some shit. Uh-huh. Thanks. How you doing? I'm good. Good. Thanks. Wait, are you me? Yeah. Good to see you. What are you doing? Yeah. I tried to get oh, yeah. up. Oh, really? Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you. Yes, I deserve it. <laughs> Can I talk to you for a second? Yeah. Maxine, be home next week. Sure. Yeah. Yep, that's beautiful coat, Maxine. Thank you. Somebody realizes. Oh, excuse me. Thanks. I, I told you, I, I don't want to talk. Well, listen, I tried to tell you last night, tell but we were what? disconnected. Well, I want... All right. I wanted to tell you that I'm in the process of trying to get custody of Mandel. What? Wait a minute. What? Yeah, I'm his foster parent right now. I'm trying to get full custody. What? Wait, I... You're kidding, right? No. I mean, how can you... How can you be anyone's foster parent? I mean, you've been arrested for DUIs. I mean, hell, you're the one who got him put back in the system. Oh, God. Unbelievable. If I was going to try to use my father's influence for anything, it was going to be to help Mendel. The agency won't even let me have any contact with him or Estella. I know. They did that because Estella was so paranoid that you and Maxine would try to get Mendel away from her. I don't believe this shit. Look, I started with these big brother visits once a week, all right? Then Estella crashed. They took him away oh. from her and put him back in the system. That's how it works. So now you know what happened. You know what his life was like. I mean, the system doesn't give a shit. He's just a number to them. Do you know what you're doing? Yes, I do. Not, well, know. at least it's a way for you to be involved in his life. You know what? This is a way for you to relieve your guilt, David. But Mendel, and your trip here to apologize, this is all for you. And it's selfish. It's irresponsible. I love him. And I want him to have the best life he can possibly have. I didn't come here to cause any problems for I you. Know. God, I, I know. Apologize. Say you're sorry. You're always sorry. Well, we're leaving, all right? Tomorrow night. You're more than welcome to see him. He'd love to see you. and goodbyes, huh? <laughs> yeah. Funerals and goodbyes. That, uh... That was a nice thing you did for Mr. Bradford. Uh, uh you know, it was, uh... It was only two grand. And, uh, every good blessing deserves another. You know, Al, I really want to thank you. I mean, you've always stood by me and you have never let me down. Yeah. Same here. Good man. Uh, here you go, Mr. Uh, Alliance Manager. <laughs> hey, uh... Take it easy, boss. I will.
Did you tell her you were an alcoholic? Yeah. Did you say you were sorry? Yeah, I told her I was sorry, but... Good. Tell her about Mandel? Yeah, I did. Damon, you've done everything you can do. Like I said, whether she accepts it or not, in the end, it's gonna have a positive effect on your life. And now you can move on. Yeah. Give me a call when you get in town. Yeah, I will. He said I could see him before they left town. Oh, wow. When it rains, it pours. No, oh, you keep saying that. So you going? It's just good knowing he's all right. Oh, that sounds like the very mature answer. That <laughs> doesn't sound like the truth. I don't know if my heart can take it, Maxine. Seeing him and then watching him leave again. So... You're talking about Mandel? Or Damon? you wrapped up in my shit. I just wanted to be, to be a good man. I know. A good man like, like Cliff Huxtable. I wanted me and Jay to, to sing your song. Like Cliff did. With the kids for, for Claire. Name her. 